My name is Norman Green, the chief photographer. I just want to share some of my photos with you from 2015. Especially the photo from the Riverton City smoke. Perhaps the most alarming in the history of the Riverton City dump fire. This left many persons with illnesses as a result of the smoke which blanketed many areas. As photographers, we captured the extent of this fire and this photo represents what many encountered during that time. Hi, I'm Ricardo Makin, staff photographer at the Gleaner Company. My favorite photograph of 2015, it's the photograph of Usain Bolt winning the men's 100 meter when he beat Justin Gatlin um, to basically what most of us dub as saving the sport. Reasons why this is my favorite photograph of the year, I think that um, the pressure that um, Usain Bolt faced and um, what the atmosphere in the stadium and so on, even me as the photographer, I was nervous while before the race was going on and even while the race was going on. So there was a sense of relief when, um, while shooting, I saw that you know Usain Bolt had crossed the line before everyone else. You saw a little bit of relief, even though you saw a bit of nervousness in his face, and you saw the, the, the reaction of the three Americans behind him, in which I think that basically captured the essence of the championships and was the most important moment for me of 2015. My name is Ian Allen. My most memorable photograph for 2015 was actually taken on the last day of the year. Um, a sunset shot from the Vineyard Toll Road in St. Catherine. I passed on the Vineyard Toll Road about two weeks before that and I saw the sunset. And you know, when they asked me to get the final sunset and where they said I should go, I went there early and scout out the place and realized that it wasn't going to happen. So I decided to go back to the same spot. And so by the time I got down there, the sun was pretty much dipping. I was on the wrong side, wrong side of the road, so I had to come out of the car and sprint probably about 200 meters, like when I was young. And, um, you know, I got it. What made it so special was the compliments I got from everybody. Rudolf Brown, a photographer at the Gleaner for over 20 years. One of my best pieces I can remember for last year, um, 2015 is a photograph with uh, the pastor washing the feet of some uh, lesbian and um, some street um, prostitute um, involved in the church service in the morning. And all on my head, how am I going to approach this assignment? How would I face the, 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 the people who are taking the photograph? I, you know the stigma certain things that you deal with certain um, photographs so you know I sat in the church uh, my thought all over the place um, but one of the things main thing with it is I have to leave there with a photograph. Gladstone Taylor photographer
My most memorable photo for 2015 was actually the man running from the file on Church Street. It was quite an exciting assignment, you know, sadly a lot of people were displaced, I think 80 people, but it was all happening so fast and you know, I saw him at the top of the building looking at the, the structure, at the house. And the minute the entire thing just went up in a blaze, you see him just jetting off. It was a pretty interesting moment. I really felt sad for him, but at the same time I had to, you know, deal with my responsibility as a photojournalist. My name is Jeremy Barnaby. I regard my photo to be the GSAT success with the two girls celebrating 100%, earning 100% overall. That photo came spontaneous. It wasn't something planned. I was there in the staff room after greeting the mother and, and the father, and I saw the action happen and just happened to have the camera uncocked. Errol Crosby. And um, the photo that I have chosen is one that um, really captured me in a sense. It was all the guys in photography that I tend to learn from. Each assignment that I go on with them, I watch how they do their photographing and I, from there, I just try to catch on. Mr. Sill, who is not here with us, is so, may soul rest in peace. He was the one that he and I journey, I journey with him a lot and I give thanks for his legacy that he left with me. Mm -hmm.